You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes oh, I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room Something to me And I've been in a daze Ever since the day That we met You took the breath Out of my lungs Can't even fight it And all of the words Out of my mouth Without even trying And I'm Speechless Staring at you Standing there in that dress What it's doing to me Ain't a secret Cause watching you Is all that I can Already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room Six years ago, I would never have believed that I would be standing together with the most beautiful woman in the world about to be married. That is, until I met you. I never believed in soulmates, but I must have been doing something right when you wanted to be with me. I did not believe in falling in love at first sight either, but then you walked into my life. I would not be the man I am today without you being there every step of the way. I became a better listener, worker, person, and friend, all because of you. I promise, to, I promise always to put us before myself, to always smile and laugh in the happy times, and to hold and comfort in the sad ones. I promise to always lend an ear when you need to vent, and to give you my arm when you want to fall asleep. I promise to always hold your hand no matter the time and place, I promise to grow old together and to face any challenge that may come up. And lastly, I promise to love you forever and always. Evan, before I met you, I always saw the same quote. Don't go looking for love, let love find you. At the time, I could not understand what that was supposed to mean. How could someone find love without looking for someone to love? I was a hopeless romantic that couldn't find someone who was in love with being in love like I did. But then I met you. The first time I met you, I knew you were something special. Maybe it was the way you gave me a big bear hug before ever saying hi to me. I knew at that moment that there was something here and nothing scared me more. But you showed me and made me believe that whatever we were, after just three days of knowing each other, that I had to give, you, had to give this a shot, even though we were about to head in separate directions for college. Here we are, five years later, promising forever to each other like we did just two weeks after we started dating but this time it is in front of our family and close friends. During our forever, I vow this to you. I vow to put our friendship before all others. I vow to love you in the good times and the bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I vow to always affirm you in your life and support you with positivity. 
I vow to cherish you and always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of our life, forever and always. Watching you is all that I can do. Oh, oh, oh. I'm speechless. You already know that you're my weakness. After all this time, I'm just as nervous. Every time you walk into the room. Oh. It's not phone light, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you for the first time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Jess and Evan Zorn. About five years ago, I was at a friend's house in town and I got a text from Jess. Hey, if mom and dad ask, I'm with you. <laughs> with little to no information as to where she was going or who she would be with, I responded like any concerned big sister would. Okay. There really aren't words to define the kind of friend that you've been to me throughout the years or the remarkable person that you are from the inside out. I thank God every day for giving me a best friend like you. It all started on July 16, 1997. We looked at each other in the eye and we knew we were in this brother thing for a long time. So, but I knew this. I knew Jess was organized, neat, tidy, all those things. And Evan was not. is their personal laundry basket. <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready? Ooh, okay. Bow our heads while the preacher talks to Jesus. Please bless this friend. Lost in this moment when 